I've already shuffled. And I also put two oracle cards for your recent past. They're the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go through the present time, how your person's seen you, how you see them, and why this is all happening. So, Gemini, in the recent past, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And it says, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And this card is paired with presence. On the flip side of this card, it reads, bring your mind into the present moment. Now is the only place to be. So in the recent past, it's looking like you needed to have some deep conversations with your person. Heart to heart conversations. Open communication. And um, this would have helped to bring your mind into the present time. Because that was really the place to be. You, it looks like you could have been holding on to some hurtful situation or feelings from the past. Or with this person, you were holding on to something. And you needed to bring yourself into the present moment. Clear your mind and um, by communicating and having serious discussions, it would have really, really helped this connection. And that's what you would have needed to do in the recent past or that's what you did. So let's move on over and take a look at the present time. We have Judgment and Eight of Cups. Now Judgment, it can be a card, it's a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course judgments that are too hastily made. If you know that you're prone to doing such things, this is a clear signal to slow down, give more thought, and give people more chances. This can also be a time of, of spiritual awakening. When this judgment card talks about love and relationships, if you're in a relationship already, it can be a make or break period. This is the time to get very, very clear about what you want out of life and out of your relationships. And then take the steps to make them come about. If we have some single Geminis out there listening, and if you're looking for a love or a new relationship at this time, uh, it may come about in the near, very near future, but you may need to take steps to make sure that you're not jumping to conclusions, positive or negative, about your new love and or vice versa. Just remember, slow and steady it's going to win the race. Now this judgment card is paired with Eight of Cups. Now Eight of Cups, it means that you will probably choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you. Whether that's a relationship, job, or a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved. But keep in mind the separation, it's in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. Also, if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, this Eight of Cups it usually means that you're the one that will make this choice. Just know that when one door closes behind you, it has to do that for the next door in front of you can fully open. So just keep that in mind. Now when we talk about love and relationships and you get the Eight of Cups, like I said, you could decide to leave a, maybe a long-term relationship or deciding that it's going to end. And if you're sure about this, you might not want to wait for the right time because there's really never a good time to tell someone that the relationship needs to be over. But don't jump into a new relationship right away. You might want to give yourself some time. Then get back out there. Now, with these two cards paired together for your present time, Judgment and Eight of Cups, um, You could be choosing to leave a situation, relationship, or job, or something you're choosing to walk away. 
and leave behind. Um, you might want to think about that, though, before you do this. You might want to think really hard and long, because with this judgment card, it's saying that you could be just jumping to conclusions about things. And um, if you're prone to doing this, then you, yeah, you really might want to slow down the, the thought of leaving a situation or a person. Because if you're jumping to conclusions, then you might not have the facts. You might not have the true facts. So you might want to take take a little bit more time before you just walk away. Because the judgment card is saying that that's probably what you're doing. You're just making decisions too hastily. So slow down a little bit. Don't maybe not maybe don't walk away just yet. You know, so get the details, get the facts, the real facts, before you walk away or move on. Now, that's what we have for you in the present time. Now, let's move on over and take a look at how they view you, the person that you're dealing with. In this connection, they view you as the Five of Wands and the Two of Cups. Now, the Five of Wands, it's about competition. It could be work, career, it could be romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Know that you have something to offer and you can be very successful. But keep in mind, you're going to have to try to see results. Your need to believe in yourself is going to be stronger than ever at this time. So hold your head up high and have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could also be thinking of a possible career change when you get this Five of Wands. Just know that you'll be successful with that too. When the Five of Wands talks about love and relationships, the person that you're you're dealing with, they may be being pursued by several people. Yeah, that's what it looks like in the picture. Several people. But you need to know that you have done all that you can for this relationship where your heart is involved. This can also work the other way around. You could be being pursued by several interested people romantically. And this is how they see you. They see you as this five of wands. They see you bring a lot of competition to this connection. So there's some type of struggle going on in this connection. And a lot of times the two of you don't see eye to eye because of it. So they see you as a challenge with obstacles. And it's paired with this Two of Cups. Now the Two of Cups is about true love, balance, partnership, commitment, and all the things that we all hope for when it talks about when it comes to love and relationships. Now this doesn't mean that you can just say or do whatever and your relationship is going to last. It does not mean that. It only means that the real solid potential for true love and affection is there. And if you're single and you're looking for love and you get this Two of Cups, it's a signal that it's very likely to be coming your way really soon. So they also see you as this Two of Cups. They see you as harmony. They see this connection as a union, uh, a romantic love, a partnership. They see you as um, possible marriage potential. But like I said, there's the Five of Wands there. There's too much competition going on though. So you may, you may be too much of a challenge for them. Or maybe they like it because they do have a deep love for you. Well they're seeing this connection as a deep love. So, put it this way, they see you as a union and they, they could possibly see you having a deep love for them, a really deep love. A partnership. But, they're, but, it's, but it's very challenging. And that's how they see you. Now let's take a look 
at how you see them. Now, you see them as this Two of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. The Two of Pentacles is about probably having two main issues in your mind. But you need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things because multitasking is not your friend at this time. You may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order for you to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need, more, may, may need to be more balanced. Be sure that you're paying attention there. Because when you hear the word pinnacles, it's about money, coins, cash, dividends, income. And when the suit pinnacle talks about love and relationships, if you're in a committed relationship, you and your person may have trouble finding time and energy for each other. So make sure that your relationship remains high on your priority list. Otherwise, it's not going to be there for you when you come back for it. If you're looking for love and you're single and you get the two of pinnacles, don't tell yourself that you're ready if you're truly not ready for a relationship. You don't have to be perfect, but you do have to be willing to create time and space and energy to put into a romance. And that's how you see the person you're dealing with. You see them as this two of pentacles. You see them as trying to take on too much. Either too much in this connection, trying to take on too much, too much with you, and they, or they just need to balance out their life or certain situations and just make a couple of things their priority. They could, you could see them as... Um, just dealing with too many people or too many things and it's causing imbalance you see them with this problem of being imbalanced and multitasking and it's causing a problem in the connection and they also see you as I'm sorry, yeah you also see them as this queen of cups now the queen of cups it's positive. It's a positive outlook. If you're single, it's a good indicator that you should get out, mix and mingle, socialize. It's a very positive. Romance is on the horizon with this Queen of Cups. Now, it's easy to get carried away though when it comes to love. You have to find balance in your. You have to find balance and pers keep your perspective. With the excitement of new love, it's important to keep track of the other things that's happening in your life when you get the Queen of Cups. So you see them as needing to balance out their this connection, their life, certain situations. Stop juggling. That's how you see them. They need to stop juggling. Maybe focus on just you and them. You and, yeah, you and them and maybe work. So you see them as taking on too much. And you also see them as this Queen of Cups. You see them as healing and want to nurture this connection. Uh, you see them want, wanting to be supportive of you and very loving towards you. But they just got too much going on. So that's how you see them, Geminis. Now let's move on over. And take a look at why it's all happening. We have the death card, and at the top we have the six of wands. Now the six of wands, it signals victory. If you're anxious about a court proceeding, or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that with the six of wands, you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party commitment celebration or you may be receiving a reward for good work that you've done when you get the six of wands this card can make you feel really good about yourself really good you could feel as if you have a lot of support from everyone around you on the other hand you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing when the six of wands talks about love and relationships it suggests that you may need someone to boost your ego 
or you just like someone boosting your ego while the other person is perfectly okay. They're perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is called fire of balance. You two feed off of each other energetically. You can probably expect a lot of sexual energy. There is a, well, there is passion and long nights spent in bed when you get the six of wands. So this is why it's all happening. There's a lot of success, success in this connection that overrides whatever is challenging. There's success, and there's that two of cups over there that we talked about. You got two really good cards, two major loving, supportive cards in this in this reading. So it's all happening because uh, the both of you want victory and success. The both of you want to win this this connection. You're in, both of you are in it to win it, put it that way. And um, it's with this death card, though. Now, the death card is about clinging to a relationship. When it talks about love, clinging to a relationship that you're possibly unhappy in because you don't want to let go of the familiar or because you hate the thought of being alone. Just keep in mind, you're doing neither yourself or your partner any favors. Have a frank and honest discussion about any problems that you have in the relationship and if they can't or won't make changes or you can't or won't then perhaps it's time to let go not all relationships are fixable but you should try first so why it's all happening is because there is something that needs to come to a, some type of transformation not just a transformation but a deep deep transformation something has to stop something in this connection needs to be put a stop to and then redo it the right way or just transform it in a real big way so only you know what that is only you know what it is but that has to happen it has to happen for you to gain this victory and success or to fully embrace and enjoy the victory and success of this connection. Something has to, to, to uh, I don't want to say, when I get the death card, I use deep transformation and that's what it really is. But uh, something could have to possibly have to die uh, something has to come to an end something has to stop that's what death is but it's it's deep transformation that brings you to um, that's well I won't, I won't say bring you to but it's, it's a deep transformation that's always needed it's nearly always needed but it can be difficult it can be a difficult transition for many people but it's needed in this relationship in this connection, um, something needs to to stop. Who knows what it is? Only you you probably know what it is, Gemini. Uh, and then you you embrace the two of you will embrace a lot of victory and success, but something needs to deep transform in this connection, and that's why it's all happening. So, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There will be a link below of the extended version of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. If by some chance I don't get a chance to put an extended or do an extended for this reading, there's always a link below for personal readings. So I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope you're enjoying 2020. I hope February is a good month for you. And I also hope that you have a great day. And once again, thank you so much for watching. 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 Watching.